Hey, what's going on guys? Maldiva here. And today I'm going to be covering the destruction talents. So I've been playing this spec for a couple days now. I know everyone's really wanted me to try it out. I wasn't honestly a big fan of Destro, but I've kind of grown to like it a bit. I really, really enjoy it in like, let's say twos and battlegrounds. Threes where you fight good players or people that sit on you, it's not that fun. But other than that, I, I find it pretty fun because... There, uh, you have a lot of burst potential. It's pretty crazy. I, I honestly didn't even know. Because they, they changed the destruction design so much compared to Legion. So, surprised me, nonetheless. But, anyways, getting into the talent builds. I'm going to show off the build that I play and I enjoy playing. I know it's different than a lot of people were saying when I was streaming and whatnot. But, this is the build that I enjoy and it fits my playstyle very well. So, you can either copy this one or I'll try to form another build that other people were talking about. But... Yeah, I don't know. It'll work out. So, starting off, I like to play Flashover. What I noticed is Conflag does an insane amount of damage. Like, Conflag is huge. A really, really crazy amount of burst, and you have two stacks to that. So, I enjoy playing the talents that buff it. Eradication, Chaos Bolt increases the damage you deal to the target. It's like, eh, okay, but for me, I like doing Conflag. And Soulfire, I haven't really tested Soulfire, but I, I can't imagine it's better than Flashover. Maybe if you, you're able to cast it, but yeah, I really, I really doubt it. So, moving on, Reverse Anthropy. I know a lot of people were not playing this, and they were confused as to why I was playing it. It's just like a, a small haste proc. I really enjoyed the haste because it helped me get my fears off, and if I had to incend when I didn't have bolts ready, or even having the extra haste to get a bolt off, it, it's really, really helpful. And then internal combustion is another option. It'll make your chaos bolt do more damage. So it consumes up to five seconds of your emulates damage over time and instantly dealing that when your chaos bolt hits, which is a, a good amount of burst. So I think this is a really good option to pick as well. And then shadow burn is just an instant burst and it also generates three soul shard fragments on a 12 second cooldown. It just felt too awkward playing with this. It's like too many globals buttons to press outside of fearing and immolating and incinerating when you don't have bolts ready and then you also have cataclysm shadow fury doing your coils so yeah it just felt really awkward it messed me up in my rotation so that's why i didn't play shadow burn but so either reverse or internal and then for 45 it's the same thing as like any spec i play demon skin in threes and for twos i do the dark pact with sacrifice to get the big shield so this twos duels and whatnot battlegrounds demon skin and for threes, demon skin. For 60, we opt in for cataclysm. This this ability actually hits pretty hard. And the other options are kind of eh, fire and brimstone. It'll cause you incinerate to hit everybody. You don't really need to cleave. Maybe in battlegrounds, I could kind of see that. It does 40% of the damage, and it generates a shard, or, or soul shard fragment for each enemy hit. And then you have inferno, which makes your reign of fire have a 20% chance to generate soul shard fragments not really that useful you don't you're not rain of firing too much anyway unless you somehow make a rain of fire build work i tried it didn't really like it i think chaos bolt's too effective so the only op viable option if you're playing chaos bolt is to play cataclysm and then 75 as destruction since you have havoc you're gonna always want to be mortal coil i can't see why you would not play mortal coil it's just too good getting the heal and coiling two people at once and it lines up perfectly for 90, Sacrifice does a crazy amount of damage for Destro too. As you guys have heard from my Affliction video, Sacrifice does a lot of damage for that spec and also Destruction. If you get your, your Immolates spread on the whole team, the Sacrifice will cleave them pretty hard. And that's kind of the playstyle I enjoy. So I have my Burst whenever I need with the Chaos Bolts, but I also have Immolates rolling on the whole team, Sacrifice cleaving them as well, and my Conflags for Instant Bursts and Rot. So that's why I enjoy playing that. Supremacy, this is going to be if you want to have huge, huge Chaos Bolts during your Infernal. I tested it out. I actually got some pretty big ones because every shard you spend increases the damage of Chaos Bolt by 8%. You just have to go in that one win the window of the Infernal and it's a 3 minute cooldown. So you only, you're only really benefiting during that time. And sacrifices all the time. And you don't have to worry about a pet, which is kind of good. Roaring Blaze is also kind of viable so you can flag every time you use it it'll burn the target for additional fire damage over six seconds i don't think 
so sometimes when you like can flag if you double can flag someone for the rare occasion you have to also be careful for the root i don't think it stacks the that the damage of this i'm not too sure but from what i've seen it didn't look like it stacked it so it was just kind of a little awkward playing with it and then you had to play with the pet again i'm i'm really enjoying not having to play with the pet so I opt in for sacrifice. It's also just better for the dark pact and twos and duels anyway. And extra extra damage randomly. It's pretty cool. It, it's normally around the same damage as Roaring Blaze anyway. My sack will be around that, maybe 10%. And for 100, we're picking up Dark Soul Instability. So on use crit chance, which bolt, uh, buffs the damage of your cast bolt and also makes your other spells crit. So just crazy damage on your go very powerful i haven't experimented with the other two i just think instability is just too strong so that's just my opinion and then moving on to the pvp talents currently i am in focus chaos so you definitely want that for the bigger bolts entrenched so you have a root on your flag is super super helpful and it doesn't break on damage which is still insane and the last one is cremation so conflag deals up to an additional three percent of the target's max health and fire damage if they have inlaid on them so if this is for like a twos build or dueling in threes i was actually playing with fell fisher so fell fisher was my other pick instead of cremation because i was getting so many bolts off and i was like all right you know what if i had a, an extra mortal striker even just the slow is really helpful on the melee but the mortal strike i think is the biggest part you're getting trained by the melee you drop the bolt on both of them as they're training you and their healer can't heal them up and your whole goal is to kind of get them to retreat so you can get have that bigger gap the range and you can get more bolts off thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helped don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel i also have all my other social media links and my stream link in the bio down below so we can get connected if you have any warlock questions and uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you all in the next video.